moment you come screaming into this world, you start dying. Also das sind zum Beispiel solche Kornkreise erschienen. Das ist zum Beispiel ein Kornkreis, da haben wir schon im 99er Jahr vermutet, dass das was mit Kometen zu tun hat. Ich glaube immer noch, dass es äh, ein aktuelles Thema ist. Äh, da kommt sozusagen in diese Schwingungen da herein irgendein komischer Körper, der da auf das System zufliegt. Ja? So, ähm, der ist schon irgendwo im Anflug, aber die Manifestation von dem äh, wird sich erst zu irgendeinem Zeitpunkt äh, äh, darstellen, die wir noch nicht kennen. Es äh, sind mehrere solche Kreise erschienen, die andeuten, dass möglicherweise in dem Gesamtszenario, wenn es auch politisch und wirtschaftlich drunter und drüber geht, auch von kosmologischer Seite her noch sozusagen das Tüpfel am I draufgesetzt wird, indem dann irgendein Asteroid dann auf, unserem, auf unserer Erde herunterkracht und das dann endgültig besiegelt. Wann das sein wird, wissen wir nicht genau. Aber dass es Kornkreise in diese Richtung gegeben hat, das ist gewiss. Und zwar eine ganze Menge. Greetings and welcome to Ancient Library. So the first and really only new image we got from Freya Atlas as it's passing Mars is this picture provided by the European Space Agency, sent from the Mars Gas Orbiter, which isn't really much. Considering the possibilities our inventory of usable instruments should provide in this case, more than half of a dozen should be able to at least partially observe Freya Atlas at this point. And the way how governments and space agencies operate in regards to the interstellar visitor can be labeled concerning, but more on that later. So is this crop circle from 1999 depicting the interstellar object we call Free Eye Atlas? One thing is clearly obvious. Our solar system is implying that this object is interstellar. The rest of the things depicted are more subject to interpretation, but they can fit in the coherent picture of Free Eye Atlas being a totally unknown or artificial object, with something depicted in the center which might be the same thing which was labeled a thumb drive, described to be broadcasting something by a so-called elite remote viewer. Clearly, the thing in the middle just could be a nucleus of a normal comet, but considering other data points which can be extracted from this crop circle, it's really semantics at this point. First of all, I want to state that I'm not really on board with the whole labeling of remote viewing, but I'm aware of a certain field of fine matter which surrounds our world, and it might be the same connection which enables and produces synchronicities and foreseeing, etc. For those who are not aware of the famous remote viewer who supposedly remote viewed Free Eye Atlas back in August and came to the assessment of the interstellar object being a very old natural object modified by some kind of intelligence. And the most important thing is the fact that it, at least according to the aforementioned remote viewer, broadcasts something via an installed small device. She, the elite remote viewer, called a thumb drive. So additionally, we got the wow signal synchronicity. And even if the whole thing isn't really scientifically appreciated, it's still a weird coincidence. Speaking about the 99% alignment of the signal, which was received in August of 1977, with the past trajectory of Freya Atlas. The math could be flawed, but still somewhat striking data. The next thing is the alleged whistleblower, a PhD working at the European Space Agency, who leaked secret data regarding Freya Atlas on 4chan, speaking about a so-called cue ball hypothesis which would ironically fit into this whole theory of Freya Atlas indeed being something at least modified by some kind of alien intelligence or a post-biological entity with 75 megawatt engine. Some people will call it a message in a bottle, others talk more apocalyptic scenarios and manifest fear. So we can say that the essential point of this hypothesis is that Freya Atlas is some kind of artificial or natural object, which was modified by an extraterrestrial intelligence, including everything from manned spaceship to unmanned natural comet with artificial modifications and trajectory, or according to the 4chan leaker, even something entirely different. Mythical qualities in any case. So the probability of Freya Atlas having the trajectory we predicted is very low, extremely rare, and the unusual borderline unexplainable early sublimation and outgassing regarding for example almost pure nickel emissions and other exotic parameters are not working in the usual way, where this scientific evaluation is leading to debunk exotic wacky theories. But this isn't the case with Freya Atlas, everything seems to happen in a framework which still provides a foundation for the spirit of the outrageous hypothesis. Some people calling out the possibility or theory of Freya Atlas performing a so-called O-Birth maneuver, in which the interstellar object uses the gravitational pull or well of planets to change trajectory, maybe towards Earth. This could be a valid hypothesis considering the way the object is coming close to a lot of planets in our inner solar system. In reverse, this trajectory could be justified and explained by the original goal to perform such a maneuver which even humanity already conducted, and the possibility of potential other maneuvers we as a race of space rookies haven't figured out yet. 
The bottom line of this quick chapter is to highlight the fact that even at this point in time, if the exotic properties and stats of Fear Atlas are approached in a scientifically grounded way, the interpretation of Fear Atlas still being an entirely new type of wild natural object or an artificially modified or created celestial object are allowed. And not the opposite, the debunking of wild speculative theories with raw solid data, the thing we usually see in science. So even Occam's razor allows the interpretation under the premise of certain protocols conducted by the US government in conjunction with China and other big players on this planet, explaining the radio silence regarding all the instruments in space and on Mars, which can be used to get additional high quality data on Free Eye Atlas. For example, the Chinese Mars rover usually sends an average of about 12 pictures per day onto a web feed, but this did not happen since the interstellar object performed its closest approach on Mars on October the 3rd. So could it be the case that the US government shutdown was premeditated to allow plausible deniability in regards to the observation of Free Eye Atlas? Possible, but that's why it's called plausible deniability. Protocols which were established to prevent things like the stock market from crashing and mass panic in the public. The logical result in such a situation would be radio silence considering certain space data and so on. A scenario which pretty much equals the current modus operandi of NASA, the Chinese space agencies, etc. So we could live in a paradox reality in which an artificially modificated interstellar object might be broadcasting something essentially extraterrestrial. And at the same time here on Earth, we the supposed receiver are conducting some kind of terrestrial radio silence. At least in regards to the alleged sender. Who is broadcasting what actually? I think it's interesting that we got this elite remote viewer who is supposedly able to get all this data but misses things like what the signal actually is and who created the supposed thumb drive, creating more questions based on vague and broadly unscientific answers. I mean if we spin this a little further here we could think of a super advanced godlike alien race which is levels ahead in the area of psi abilities in comparison to a terrestrial remote viewer and they could have established some kind of psi protection to cloak the really important things even from the abilities of an elite humanoid remote viewer. But let's don't get ahead of ourselves here. I can't believe I see myself approaching a theory based on a remote viewing report but the weird trajectory of the object, the exotic stats, speaking of conflicting scientific evaluations, the potential 4chan data leak about the so-called cue ball, this wild crop circle from 1999 and the way our governments act combined are enough to explore this vague and wild but still somewhat valid hypothesis. At least valid enough for me to invest some time and energy to explore it. So are the many exotic data points and anomalies regarding Freer Atlas just sublimating into wild speculation and creepy conjecture? Does the essential statement from most likely a comment maneuver to this can still be a comment? It can't be ignored how many crazy things this mysterious object has done to our collective perception. A black swan event could be written all over this. So to end this quick video, I want to give you my perspective. You can't really call this a synopsis at this point. But if I had to present a theory on Freya Atlas with a gun to my head, I would say, I think this object is not a comet. I think it isn't a manned alien spacecraft either. It's hard to explain it properly. But I think this object is resembling something similar to a thing we would call a comet or meteor. But on one level of order of magnitude higher to a normal comet or meteor we can observe on Earth, which may come around every few hundred years. An object like Free Eye Atlas might come around every few hundred thousand or million years. It's an interstellar object visiting our solar system. Like for example Hale-Bob visits our Earth. And I think objects like these are so special, rare and valuable that other intelligent life in the universe already knew and manipulated this particular one to make sure it's having its effect, whatever that may be. Perhaps in combination with a possible embedded device on its way passing through countless star systems. And I will stop here because I think I'm not able to provide an accurate rendering of such potential intergalactic events without a high amount of distortion. We are anthropomorphizing these thoughts. So you can take this as my remote view or just a wild theory which goes in coherence with the things I perceive in regards to this matter. Tell me what you think what Freer Atlas really is and maybe with combined powers we are able to provide a good holistic hypothesis via something to the effect of truth resonance. Doesn't matter which way you choose. Remote psychic perception or grounded scientific study. Because I think what connects these things, if pursued clear-hearted, is the inherent quality for the search for truth. Libra.